Hey, what's up? It's Ricky. Uh... <laughs> you gonna go again? <laughs> Oh, Big Citric. When? <laughs> now. 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 Hey, hot mom's in the mix right here. And then another girl walks in, and then she's like, ooh. Ooh. It looks like you taste like chamoy and tajin. I fucking love chamoy and tajin. Ripped. I know he's ripped. He I, I saw his ripped. page. Well, like, I know he's very ripped. I don't want to show my yeah. face on his body. I don't want to show him at all because then we'll lose us. <laughs> He'll gain all the followers and stuff. <laughs> you know, What's up, everybody? Welcome to the episode of JR and the Crew, man. We are back. And, uh, you know, we got Slick Vic in the house, of course. We got Slick Vic here. But uh, Momo is not, not here today, you know. No, so Momo. No. She said all of a sudden... She her was having back problems. Back problems. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We're, we're starting to go fund me so we can get those reduced, but we don't know how it's going. How's it going, Vic, with that? Yeah. No one's paying Nobody yet? Nobody wants to pay. They no want to keep them. They want to keep the booze. They want to keep them. That's a yeah. That's, that's what's going on, man. But we have a special show, man. I mean, we have a very special show. We, we brought in some characters... And uh, to say the least, yes, yes, to say the <laughs> least. But we do have a, 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 a someone who did come back. They always come back. They always come back, dude. And then when they leave here, they always do bigger things. And then they leave us. They do. They do. They, they, <laughs> it, it's proven fact. For some reason, they always do bigger things and they leave us. But you know what? We got the crew, the casting crew, right? Because some of them do stuff behind the scenes. But we got the casting crew, man. Um, I'll let you, Vic. Why don't you introduce me? So Ghetto Busters is out, right? I know you guys are watching it. It's free on what platform? Uh, Tubi. Tubi. I download. It's free. I download. It's free. Ten, I made sure. Ten it's free. Hilarious. You guys, it's no, free. you guys left me wanting more. Like, you guys need more episodes. But we have Deanne, we have Ricky, and we have Citric on the show today. That's right, man. Two of the claps. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I put the, I put the cops in the post, the so we're oh, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, need, I need to chime in on that one you guys were talking about, the breast reduction. That's a sin. <laughs> what? That's a sin. Well, you met, you met Momo, right? Remember Momo? Momo? Oh, man. I, yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Oh, was she here the last time I was here? No, she, no, was she oh, wasn't she, here. She had the, what's She name? missed again. But I think I did see an episode, huh? Oh yeah, well, yeah. yeah, you can't. Oh, you watch our episodes? Oh, look. Yeah, man. Dude, love you can't it. miss her, dog. They're right there. Oh, here, yeah. They're right there. She gave me this for my birthday. So, Fucking Momo. Bigger than our heads and shit. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's a sin to get them reduced. No. <laughs> I don't know. Season two needs to definitely upgrade uh, Hot Mom. What do you think? <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, we have oh, you want multiple, hot, multiple hot Moms. Well, you, Why you not? <laughs> we need, we need, we need better moms. ratings, right? Better streams. Nah, you already got them. What are you worried about? <laughs> no. This is <laughs> thank, thankful for Frederick and obviously. You know, <laughs> no shame in that game. Who's Frederick? Of Hollywood. Fred oh shoot, Frederick of Hollywood. Oh, see, he doesn't shoot. even know his boobage Dude, here. Hey, you know like, what's funny? On. I used to, my mom used to get those bag, those catalogs. Frederick of Hollywood, yes, right. Oh, yeah. And I used to be in the bathroom. I know. That was the like Dude, the the porn. That was back the porn then, back, you know? back there. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't Google. I, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't just Google anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't Google. Dog. It's like you, you had those pictures and you had to fucking use your imagination. And, <laughs> yeah, you too. know, <laughs> do that work out? <laughs> But what I want to know is why were those things coming to my mom's house? She was a freak. Oh shoot, that's right, your mom. She was a freak. Oh my god, dude, this guy, man, his we mom. Trying to buy underwear though. Man. Yeah, people have to look sexy. <laughs> underwear, not lingerie. Damn. Oh, Wait a I second. Mama was not a freak. She was freaky. That's oh, an entirely yeah. Yeah. different. Hey, but now she's a church going lady. She's like, oh. <laughs> I thought it was a catalog, but I guess <laughs> Wait a second, those are tires. If you want serious, you want tires, right? No, but they got underwear under two. <laughs> you like no, that but, one, but, but Frederick's was like on a whole different level. Yeah, like you yeah, saw yeah. Nibble, no, you, yeah, can't, yeah, you like, can't go wrong with that. And Hustler. Mm. That's, <laughs> that's, well, that's a whole other different magazine. That's a whole other different magazine, man. Yeah. Damn. I killed it. Uh. <laughs> Wait a second, we have Daddy in the house here. We really do. Ricky and Citric, thank you so much for being here. Oh, no, you, you already know, man. It's all love. <laughs> like, I know, long, Ricky's real long quiet. Why is he quiet? Here. Why are you not participating in this conversation? Ricky's is there quiet. a reason why? We need to Fredericks. 
When you got 20 kids, it is hard not to. This is break time. This is break time right now, bro. For real, see? If he's not on set, he's he's he's, he's at the daycare. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you got daddy daycare. Right? <laughs> Wait, oh, were, you, were you able to take your kids on on, on set a couple times or no? Well, or you just kept? I you, to set yeah. Like for Ghetto Busters? Oh, okay, okay. Well, they're actors too, as kids, man. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I do got That's cool, nice. man. So you're off the market then? Oh, man. <laughs> Poor lady. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop, bro. The ratings are going to go down for I know. Hey, ladies, players. DM him. What's your Instagram? Does he? <laughs> there's only two people that they check out on that show. Ghetto Busters is DM and you. <laughs> Citric, what happened? I don't know, man. <laughs> he needs to show some more cameras. Citric oiled up enough. Nah, Citric's, <laughs> Citric's the one you want to just hug and just like, lay, 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 lay. are you oh, kidding man. me? I would. I would definitely just be a hugger with him. I don't care. I don't guy, then no homo shit. You have not seen his cleavage. He, oh. he has major Shoot. camel toe I saw on the ghetto yeah. buster. I see that knuckle. I'm the ghetto buster suit. That's why they well, yeah. wear a tight suit, man. They <laughs> wanted me to show off the junk, you know? Hey, you want me to show out a camel toe every time, man? What size coverall did they give you? Like a fucking they were, 48? I'm, I'm, I'm a, like in the overall, I'm more like, you know, to fit comfortable like a 4X. They were giving me like a 2X. You know? oh. Yeah, we <laughs> know camel toe for sure. <laughs> they give me a new one. No, you look at that. Oh they were my just, god, they were that's just trying cool. to show, you know, make me show off the junk, you know, <laughs> whatever sells, right? <laughs> hey, in between you being shirtless and Citrix uh, Bob, aka Bob's cleavage <laughs> with the camel toe, <laughs> <laughs> tune into Ghetto Busters on Tubi, everybody. That's right, man. Uh, although we are gonna have a, a, a only concert for uh, Ricky. Oh for shoot, all, yeah, for all the fans, you know, so. <laughs> So, you know, females that want to oil him up the way that, you know, he was getting oiled up on ghetto buses. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I did see that one scene, man. You're in the car and the girl popped up. So I was like, oh, hey, shoot. I didn't know it was like this type of video. Oh, hey. Uh, this is that was great. like the best scene right there. Yeah, I know. I was like, hey, what's going this way? I like this, this show. This is amazing. Nah. AKA Nutbusters. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Nut Busters. The best, the best scene is when you're going to get baptized. <laughs> Right, because there's everything. You see, you see concrete yeah. fucking crack. You see Ricky's nude. You see you about to jump in butt bro, naked to the jacuzzi. Bro, they, were trying, they were trying to really get me to jump in the jacuzzi. I was like, hell no, you jumping in there with these fools. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Aside from yeah, aside from it was it was it was it was like super cold and then these guys were naked in there. I was like, nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get it! Oh my God, dude! That's why I called it hot dog water, man. <laughs> you guys are poorly so hot, dogs poorly out. hot dogs in there. Oh my God, dude! <laughs> Were you? Yeah, yeah, no. But it was cold, man. It was like freezing when these guys got out, man. I thought they were gonna just freeze over in there. Yeah. Hey, you just heard. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, that was it. No, dude. Yeah, Dan, Dan, no, no, look this way, please. We're getting out now, you know. No, I wasn't there that night when you guys were shooting the hot tub. No, and I wish I were. Yes, I was. But actually, it, it, it worked in my favor not being there for a couple of scenes, especially when your shoelaces were tied, Ricky, a.k.a. Savio. <laughs> Getting your shoelaces tied there. Oh. Yeah, we got to get them some merch. Eh? That says, uh, get in my shoes tied. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bro, you're like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like eating a lollipop tie in its thing. That's what I kind of really wanted to do. What, uh, before we shot that, my thumb actually, that carving piece, it tore up. And, like, it really did hurt, like, my thumbs to open the front door all the time. It would get stuck. So I just said, dude, my thumb, it's like. It's, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about Ghetto Buses a little bit. I want to I talk about, like, a little bit more about your characters, you know, because you are known as. The what again? I don't know. They the know hot my mom. the hot mom, hot and that's mom. a game for uh, night. What did you just uh, say right now? <laughs> what did, yeah, every what time you guys say, say hot mom, we're gonna have to make you guys take a shot. You gotta take a shot. shot. <laughs> give him a shot. Give him a shot. Give him a shot. I have it in there. Renee, get it. It's in there. <laughs> oh, a shot of water. You guys drink though, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, Not tonight. I had to keep a commercial tomorrow. 
Oh, no, don't worry. You'll be good. No, it's topless, bro. He's the top. You can't fuck up them abs. Okay, every time they say it, then he has to take a piece off of clothing. Hey, oh. we're playing a game here. <laughs> you too, Citrus. No, <laughs> I'm out of it, man. <laughs> you, you either take the shot or take the clothes I got, off. I got, I got like two jackets on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you came ready, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got pants oh, Rene, I'm sorry, Rene, It's in there. The, 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 yeah, it's the, right here in there, underneath your camera. But the, the cups are in there. Oh. But the cups are there. But no, let's talk about because let's talk about you guys' characters, man. And uh, yeah, uh, it's it's on Tubi right now, so it's on Tubi. That's that's great. Congratulations on that. That's Thank that's you, amazing man. and stuff. And uh, but so since you are the executive producer, plus you're in the the series as well. So why don't you give us a real quick background? How did it all come about? And how'd you cast these amazing guys? Well, it all came about the fact that we were going to do a actual pilot slash series for YouTube. And we ended up not doing it. So we move forward, fast forward. Everybody was pretty much all cast. It was just all about creating the magic. Mm -hmm. And being part of cast along with Citric came fairly easy. I actually met Citric a few years ago. I would say five plus years ago when he was on Lopez. I mm -hmm. actually met Ricky. Um, he auditioned for Americanos back in the day, and I know that both him and I were not cast with Falcon Pictures, so this was the first time that we worked together, but I'll never forget the first day, or the first night that I flew in to meet Ricky, and Ricky, I met him in the shower. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, I don't, I don't need to explain, Rick. To explain. <laughs> let me have my let me have my fantasy, all right? <laughs> let me have and, that fantasy. And this is this is really Ghetto Busters <laughs> After Dark because these are real behind the scenes. But seriously, I did meet Ricky. I flew in. They brought me to set right away, and they're like, "Hey, you're gonna be in Rick. You're gonna be with Ricky in the shower. And are you good with that?" I said, "Sure, no problem." And I looked at Ricky. I'm like, "Oh yeah, sure." No <laughs> <problem."> <laughs> <laughs> He's so pro wait, hold on, you're so professional right now. He just <laughs> said, Yeah, so the first scene was <laughs> He's like, Fool, I got four kids. I can't afford not to be professional right now. <laughs> I was like uh, like well, Is that what you were saying in your mind so nothing else would rise up? <laughs> 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 Sounds like a big ass orgy to me. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely a close set from what I remember. <laughs> Some bloopers or something. Yeah. Well, funny bloopers. That was natural. Yeah. Was yeah, natural. Yeah. That was natural. That's cool. No, but you guys, you guys made a good team, all of you. But first, like, it's just you and Concrete for a while, right? Till Citrus comes on. Yeah. So you guys, mm -hmm. like, you guys bounce off each other real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. Yeah. I I just think it's relatable. Like it's you like working with your cousin or your best friend or something. Yeah. Nice. So, was there a lot of improv though? Like, dude, oh, yeah. a lot, of, a lot of improv. Yeah. Because you're a comedian as well, so they did they give you like the the like, hey, just this is the lines, but just do your thing. Yeah. Well, for the most part, I always try to do the lines exactly how the writer does it, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, and then when they do, you know, you do a couple of extra takes, then I'll, I'll add a little bit of extra flavor, or whatever. But I don't like to change too much up. Unless the writer says, yeah, you know, go ahead, fuck with it, man. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Yeah. But Freddie was really yeah, yeah, cool, like, open to, like, hey, man, make it your own, you know? He didn't want us to do yeah. the lines, like, how he wrote it. Yeah. Like, he didn't want, like, hey, can you take like this? And then, so, like, those guys yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Stuff that we kind of just made up. Because I can see, like, Citric and then Concrete. I mean, those, you guys are alone right there. Will just, I, I look at it as going off script. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? And, and then, but then trying to bring it back at the same time, and then, and doing your thing. But um, speaking of bringing back, <laughs> bring it back. Well, we're gonna do a quick man. Cedric is familiar with us, but we, we do. We, we're, we're, going to, we're going to commercial right now, so we're gonna go to commercial. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna talk more about Ghetto Busters and um, them being on Tubi and stuff, and get some behind the scenes stuff. I mean, shoot. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna get here. We want the good <laughs> stuff. We want the really good stuff. We'll be right back. We'll all be topless when we come back. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is your boy JR with JR and the crew. Look man, make sure you guys support Black Widow Investigations. Now you might ask, what is Black Widow Investigations? Well, she is a law firm, lawyer, PI. She'll take care of you if you get in a car accident, bike accident, family law, maybe you just get injured, maybe you trip over somebody's rock in their front yard. But hey, give her a call, man. I'm gonna put her number right here and let her know that JR and the crew sent you. The artist is on the damn show. I'm playing his song. <laughs> you know, like, and I contest it and everything, and then they go, nope, nope. So, whatever. Oh, well, they still, even though you dispute it, they still don't. Right, yeah. Some of them do, because it's the, it's the label. Yeah, it's the right. label. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, the, the label wants to get their thing and stuff. So, I mean, I don't know. You're like, there's no label for we sleep from the back of his truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, now we're getting upcoming artists, and when we get the upcoming artists. I'm like, are you with a label or anything? No. Okay, cool. No, have your music. Yeah, <laughs> Play your music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's wild, man. Yeah, you know. It, I mean, I get it. You know, I get it. You know, because I get what they're trying to do. A lot yeah. Of people, you know, you know, making money off people's stuff and, you know, and the artist doesn't get the credit or the, or the yeah. royalties, whatever. But to not, to have the artist on your show and then not, and then dispute it still and, yeah. and still yeah. not, yeah. They, it's not dumb. Get a negative response for it. Yeah, mm. it's ridiculous. But it's kind of lucky, like, you guys are lucky right now because you're in a, era where a couple of years ago i used to go to walmart parking lot and the guy was slanging cd dvds and i'll be buying like who do you got what you got on the, yeah. what you got real quick what you got and then we give you all the dvds and, <laughs> the <funny. laughs> and no lie I had, I had a stack of it and then i was actually in the yeah and i was yeah. in the film industry yeah, good, and people were like how dare you do that i was like well, I don't have time to go to the movie theater. So yeah. I just go home yeah, five, five bucks. Man. Five bucks. Yeah. You know, so, but. Everybody's done it at one point. Yeah, man. everybody's done it at one point, man. It was but a good thing. what I love is that they, they've actually re uh, replaced pirate with indie now. So yeah, it's indie, called yeah. indie. Indie. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I, I love the fact that you guys are on Tubi, man. I, I did download the app, and and uh, that's what actually made me download the app was to watch the, you know, your guys' series on it and stuff. Because I'm also good friends with Danny as well, and uh, we were trying to get him on the show, but he's like, "Oh he's no, dude, shy. yeah, I don't yeah. camera, I don't do that." His mask, like, <laughs> <laughs> wear his mask. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> he wears his mask when he don't have to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, you can take it off, Danny. No, I feel, like, good. I feel good. Danny, I feel good. take the mask off. <laughs> mask season is over. <laughs> Yeah, the <laughs> that's right. Danny date, it's over, expired. Take it off. <laughs> oh, I like not showing my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a, I'm excited for you guys, man, because I, I've been seeing a lot of positive reviews on it. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people re, uh, reshare every time you guys are posting. Yeah. So many people are resharing it and stuff. But so, like, how does it feel with you for you guys that you know you you've taken a project and you guys were like, like you said, it was gonna be a, just a pilot, but then you're like, okay, well now it's because. Of, I guess the, uh, maybe you see the chemistry and stuff, so you make it into a, a series, and now it's on YouTube. So, I mean, how did you feel when that started to develop? Well, it's kind of crazy because we did, like I said, we started in 2019, and it was just that. It was brilliant because we thought, well, we just do it right. Like, people operating cameras at the time, they didn't have a lot of time. Yeah, we're doing a pilot. Don't worry, just film it. <laughs> 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 well, because it was supposed to be just for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> That's, what, That's what I heard, yes, just for you two. We did it, and Deanna yeah, jumped on board the back end, like, um, behind the scenes, and then she saw, like, hey, let's do five more episodes or six, or whatever, because we had to reshoot the first episode. And then it just went from there. One episode kind of went to the next episode and the next episode. And it just mm -hmm. wasn't fairly in a, like, a quick time. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a long time frame. We shot it all in 2020. So you kind of shot it through the, the, the COVID time then, yeah. You guys were shot it through yeah. the whole COVID time. 
So when everybody was all like, yeah. you're like, this is do this, man. Let's get it going. Well, you just had to follow protocols, you know? Yeah. yeah. But then they show one clip when I'm standing with my mask signing the paper. (laughs) 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 Signing the release form. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh Huh. I remember, yeah. I, remember, I was waiting. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I was waiting. I don't know. January. Yeah. Right, right. But, but you guys played it right, though, because... I was waiting, waiting. When it finally dropped, I got all my snacks. And <laughs> I'm a binge watch, right? I'm getting ready. Uh, I'm getting all set. It's like, fuck, seven episodes. I'm like, where's the rest? Five. Five, five, five. Sorry, five. I was waiting for more, dog. I was waiting for more. Well, I'm still waiting for yeah. more. I was telling mm-hmm. Danny too though. I was telling him, I go, we're gonna need more episodes like yeah. you because you guys I go just, people people are gonna eat it up. Five episodes are gonna be like too quick. I started <laughs> eating and I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm like, I wasn't even halfway through my M and M's. I'm like <laughs> Right. No, you live for the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Titanic. Because it, there was you sh- did not just say that, did you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Ricky just compared Ghetto Buster to Titanic. Titanic. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Concrete wasn't here because he would be. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> Oh, oh man. man, it was yeah, it was an easy binge, man. You know, it, 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 it was one of the easiest. <laughs> but yeah. Citrix, so you, I know you're you're a comedian. We had you on the show last time, so you're a comedian, actor, and stuff. And then Ricky, so what, what's your uh, what do what do you? Uh, okay. And where do you live? Oh, okay. Yeah, In the city, yeah, right there, Burbank. Yeah. Central casting, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Central Casting. Central Casting right there, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Welcome. 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 Couch <laughs> well, guys, uh, welcome to the Casting Couch. Uh, if you guys could just start going at it, we're going to have we, the camera. We, <laughs> we can wipe this one down. The last one was clogged. <laughs> yeah, that, the last one was clogged. It was hard to get him. <laughs> and there is no job. <laughs> 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 so I mean, you've done other other films and stuff, and and, and because like you said, you do coaching and stuff. But uh, so, what made you, or what attracted you to actually go at Ghetto Busters? I mean, just hearing the name Ghetto Busters. Danny, kind of like we did that audition. We like me and her didn't get that part. We became close. He's strong on him into it. Man. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a great concept, great. We could have been a good movie. Was, we had some good scenes in it. Yeah. But then, um, so then he had another project, and it was Ghetto Busters. And he was like, hey, you uh, Savio. He just didn't tell me. He didn't say, like, oh, you know, say you're Savio. I'm going to approach um, this guy. His name's Concrete. And we'll check him out on um, mm. whatever. And that was basically how I got it. It was no, like, I did, like, I'll read for it. I'll read for it. Read for it, you know, back in the other project. Basically, the other projects, all the other projects. Yeah, he's seen you already, so he was like, yeah. Oh, cool, man. So that's, that's one of those things where, like, you read and you just weren't right for that project, but he's like, I, I know yeah, he yeah. got something, so yeah. he was ready for you when he was ready for yeah, you. Yeah, first, so Vic actually got me, I met, I met Citric because my nephew was on Lopez with Citric, mm. And then they call me back, and Danny's like, "Hey, you, uh, you got, you got to come back. You got, you got to call back." 
So I go to the audition again. So I'm reading, and I, he, he, I come in, and I'm reading, I couldn't even know the name, the names, like Manny, I think Manny and like James, something like that. Mm -hmm. So I read for one of the, say the nerdy one. So I go back and I get the side, and he's like, hey, you, you get the new side. He's like, what is this? He's like, oh, you read for the other character. But like, I spent the whole story. I'm like, well, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I knew everything already. So like, oh, it's even like 10 minutes to like just review kind of the dialogue. I already know how I'm playing Manny. Mm. That's how I was already in my head when I was reading with the reader. I was already reading Manny as I was, you know, in my mind. So I, when I did Manny, I just, it was easy. And then that's when he's like, yo, you didn't book it, but you you did great. Um, Saints Number, which is like an anthropologist for me, this book, the Mighty Rich Book, playing with him. And then did the other movie, uh, The Secret, and then also he got a Wesley Hyde thing, and he just went to school, and I was already good friends with him. That's dope. So with Ghetto Busters, though, you, uh, maybe, I don't know if it's a question for you, but maybe they can answer it too, but... Um, because you guys were actually putting it through a lot of film festivals, right? Uh, or uh, Film festivals, right? Film festivals. Yes, And, and it, you guys were winning awards. Yes, and, 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 you know, being part of the film festival circuit, and no disrespect or anything, but there's a lot of film festivals out there that are wonderful and great, but I'm not just somebody who wants to collect trophies all day long or awards. Right, right. What means something to me is getting, again, to the next level. Mm -hmm. And so when I started, obviously, getting involved with the film festivals, I'm like, okay, we can be here, we can be there, but it's going to put us at a level to a point where it basically put the equity on the show. These okay. awards, these um, acclamations of the show being something that I knew for a fact was either going to get picked up by network or it was going to be um, independently with distribution. And so either route, it was a guaranteed payday, and this is exactly where we're at right now, and that was the game plan I had from the very beginning. But that was the whole thing with Ghetto Busters. I had a game plan. Mm. I envisioned everything. Right. Spirituality-wise, putting it out there, manifesting everything that I knew what we were capable of doing, that's exactly what I brought to the plate. And at the end of the day, they were at Comic-Con, like I said they were going to be. Yes, that's awesome. i seen that. And we had distribution, and boom. But... Again, it is what it is. Ghetto Busters is still being shopped. It hasn't even been internationally um, put out there with distribution. Nice. But these boys make me proud at the end of the day, and that's why being part of cast, exactly, with both Citric <laughs> and... That's your signature <laughs> and smile, dude. I love it so much, man. And we have future projects coming up, too. So awesome. that's, that's what's awesome about Ghetto Busters, because it's created a chemistry in the film family for us to grow and be together with other future projects, and that's exactly what I wanted to create in, be in between Falcon Pictures and Deanna Lamb Productions. So, so you guys are gonna be like uh, uh, Adam Sandler, where he, every movie he sees his crew, <laughs> you see Rob Snyder, you see everybody, you can do it, yeah, he just pops up. <laughs> I mean, that's what it seems like. Like, it's happening, you know? It's like, it's just kind of like everything's just falling into place, you know? Right, right. Well, because every, we've all known each other for a while already, too. That's why we've been, we've all worked on different projects together, on, you know, just, so it kind of just feels like, like, it's just like a family affair, so to speak. Nice, yeah. So we're all branching out doing shit, but we're all still working together, you know? And this is cool now, because, like, now we know each other, so when I come on board, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're on the podcast, <laughs> and I'm... Uh, I mean, make, that's right. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. No, that's, we, we, we've been in the work for something for like a couple of years. I've, I've we're got developing some yeah. stuff, man. We're yeah. developing some stuff, though. No, yeah. No, chemistry is everything, man. I, I believe in that I'll too. Do chemistry. Double double, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring in and out oh for lunch. We're good. Have a double double, some pizza, you know, yeah, in and out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you guys are there. Wow. Yeah, you're, you're, you're. Double double. You're cheaper than me. So, you're cheaper than me. I go for four by four. <laughs> four uh, yeah. I gotta work my way up there, bro. Right? Like, I'm, bringing, four I'm bringing him in. Double double. <laughs> <laughs> no, but back to you, Dan. Um, I know, like, Danny was involved in everyone, but it seemed like you were the hustler for... No, I no, because every time I saw Ghetto Busters, it was Deanne. She took it to a whole other level. Yeah, you, you did. Yeah. The, uh, like, did everything. yeah, she was talking about manifestation nice. and all that. I feel like she was pushing the show more than anyone. Like, that was your baby, too. Like, mm -hmm. more... Than... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
I know. <laughs> I hear you talking now. It sounds oh, great. Yeah, yeah, we were DM. He's like, oh, bro. He's like, you're part of the Jerry Crew. Like, yeah. He's like, cool, man. Because the end, the you know, booked me for this podcast. I saw you were on. He's like. It's gonna be way easier to talk about, <laughs> <laughs> which is cool, you know. But that's, hey, can you step outside, Vic? We're gonna <laughs> talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's her pushing you guys to the next level. Yeah. So that's dope. Well, she knows what it is. What it takes is marketing, man. You gotta get you guys out yeah. there. You guys are funny guys. But we're gonna take another quick break. When we come back, man, we're gonna talk about. I want to talk a little bit more about Comic Con, man, because that's that's a big thing. You know what I mean? Wow, that was. I, I've never even been there. So I was there. when we, whatever, dude. I was there. I was there with yeah. I know, I see you. Yeah, oh, you took okay. pictures. Like, <laughs> Whatever. I've never been to one. If you don't snap it, then it happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> and and sell candy. And, well, Coke and candy. Coke. And crack. <laughs> <laughs> and let me Whatever. tell you, it was easier dealing with the fucking crackheads. Because when they got there, they knew what they wanted. They had their cash <laughs> ready. Transaction was quick. <laughs> fucking kids eat. And how much is that? <laughs> And how much is hey, it? Fuck, fuck, hurry Rich, up! I got crackheads waiting! <laughs> Rich, bro. Did you ever accidentally give him the wrong mix no, of No, 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 no. My fucking kids and Gondo came with fucking chains. Crackheads. <laughs> well, crackheads came with chain too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was crazy, dude. It was like, I it was so I was so desensitized. We would cook right, crack right. and it was like, oh, this is a, allegedly, That's right? Alle- no, no, no. Allegedly. Everybody involved is already dead. We can talk about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Including my Uncle Hugo, my dad, even my the Uncle Ricky. Is. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. There's nothing else you can do. And I was underage, so I can't get <laughs> out of the Oh, my God, bro. Fucking rich. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back again, guys. We yeah, we're back, man. We've been back, but uh, we have the Ghetto Busters in the house, man. Yeah, we're missing a couple of people. We're missing Concrete and uh, Concrete. Concrete Con- said he didn't have to come back because he's been on here. Yeah, I've been in there. They shocked the hell out of me. Perito, perito, I don't go perito because I the donkey. Huh? <laughs> I thought it was a duck. I thought it was a fucking elotero, man. <laughs> I guess we all see what we want. Your mouth started watering. He's all, oh, shoot, guys, I gotta go get some yeah, corn. I'll be right back. About a spot, about a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man! But you know what I love about it is that yeah, you guys have so much. You guys are very diverse in your personalities. You know, because it's like you know, funny. Crazy, sexy, sexy, <laughs> sexy though too. You, you're no, beautiful no, too. Like you're beautiful TLC. too. <laughs> but it's just funny, man. <laughs> but um, I mean, so how was it though, like for you to work with these young men? Because you're always, I, I love the fact that you're always giving them the credit. Because at the end of the day, yes, I mean, you did a, you guys did a very well job on casting I- and stuff. So, and I see you always praising them and stuff. So, um, tell me a little bit about that. And why you? Because I got, I got chewed out one time. I'm all, we, we did an episode where they were like, why are you always saying we when sometimes it's okay to say I? You know, because at, off camera, they are praising you, saying that you did a lot. So tell me a little bit about that. Why won't, why won't you take the credit when everybody, a lot of them are just giving you the credit of what you've done? Well, you know what? It's all about timing. Timing mm-hmm. is everything. And right now, I feel like it's their time to shine they are they are and they put the hard work in to be superstars i believed in them if they believe in me then why should not i believe in them carrying it over to become the stars that they are mm. and in the fact that our latin community lacks superheroes and creating the whole fact of them being superheroes why shouldn't they be so that's why when i look at ricky when i look at concrete they're over beyond the whole fact of even the acting skills what happens behind the scenes with the writing and creativity what goes on from us, you know, beyond Ghetto Busters, but I want season two really bad. But they need to realize if I believe in them, they should believe in themselves Mm because they are superstars. And that's the way I envision them. I can't say anything more than that. I have conversations with these guys during the week. I love encouraging them. But at the end of the day, there's a higher power and God has a plan for all of us, but we're not going anywhere. <laughs> we're not going anywhere, so get used to it. Ghetto Busters and all these projects, other projects that we're creating together, let it be. But it's always timing for other people to shine. So it's a team effort. I like it that. all comes yeah. to the whole fact of what we all can do together. Even with you guys. Tonight, 
We're all together in salute. Salute. Except, except for Momo because she's not here. Momo's not here, whatever. I know. <laughs> Leave me. Momo. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Just don't get that reduction. <laughs> oh. Don't do it. See? Don't do it. Exactly. Don't so that's it. why at the end of the day, it's all about them. And I call them my man babies because I have their backs and they already know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's cool. because So let's talk about Comic-Con then. So did you open that door for the... the the for them to get into the comic con, so, yeah, because you, yeah. She Sit told him? she told him the nutbusters are in town. The <laughs> nutbusters are in town. <laughs> I need to get them on comic con. <laughs> no, that's cool because nah, that's, that's, nah, that's, to me that's she, a big she, thing. She, yeah, she put her, you know they pulled some strings, man, and they got they got mm-hmm. us up in there, man, and it was a good thing, man. You know we got to uh, uh, show f- the first episode, you know, and walk around and you know meet people and people mm-hmm. were coming up to us too man and we we're, we were dressed up as you know the fucking ghetto boys I seen that yeah I seen the pictures in there yeah the suits man <laughs> <laughs> were people thinking you were the ghostbusters trying to be the ghostbusters at first well somebody thought it was a plumber at first <laughs> <laughs> It's not your break. We do here with the people back in the hell back out Oh my god, yeah, man. We had a little screening and a little panel in one of the rooms and mm-hmm. there were people like we didn't you know, no one knew the show yet. So you didn't expect that? It was like there was not a lot, there were like twenty people or something like that. We're like, yo, there's twenty people here, like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're still at Comic Con, and at least people knew, you know. Yeah. That's awesome, man. And, and you know, seeing them on panel, and I don't mean to make it sound like the way it does, but being a proud mom of who they have and who they've become in the whole process of the last couple of years of doing Ghetto Busters, they have done an amazing job, not just acting, but developing the whole fact of becoming executive producers. Uh, Ricky's oh, nice. an executive producer, and as well as Citric, you know, I know we're de- developing other contact for, uh, um, content for other shows, but I see them over and beyond the whole fact of just being actors. Mm-hmm. And that's where the whole foundation comes in, that you see talent beyond talent. And that's what I see between both of them, because they're on my next ride of a project. Yeah. Nice. And with that said and done, I know that's going over and beyond of the fact of what we brought on for Ghetto Busters. But Ghetto Busters is not going anywhere, guys. Sorry. Uh, we, we got the liberty to, to write um, the next season. Next season? Oh, nice. We already, like, kind of outlined. It's great. Got the name. All right. I'm just waiting to, we get to go ahead and, like, hey, we're doing it. We're Right. The characters. Right. Right. That's right. Well, you know, there's already jalapeno, but there's room for a habanero in there. <laughs> I'm saying, Ricky, if you get stuck and you're like, damn, what can we add on to this show? Habanero. Oh, my God. Fuck. Uh, there's, there's a couple of different. Freddy was a man and, and Shaggy, yeah. <laughs> at the we, end. We had like two, like two or three different directors on there. Okay. We'll be the director, you know, because we have, hey, want this shot to. And that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's tight, yeah. dude. Are these episodes going to be a little longer? Or are you going to try to keep it short? Still, I would say short. Yeah. But just more, more than five. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's already done. Double doubles work for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to book the, the in and out truck. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to thank you when we're there and fucking it. lunch. Watch. <laughs> and I think Ricky said it perfectly. Um, with us being a team, and when we come to the whole fact of executive producers or actors, everybody has that input with what we do with the show. And that makes us an amazing film family being combined and collaborating together because it's just nothing but magic. You cannot put a price on chemistry. Chemistry is just created. That's what makes the magic. And mm-hmm. I know Ghetto Busters has yeah. that. Mm-hmm. But Ricky and Citric, 
they play a character on the show, but outside of the show, they are amazing. They're beyond the whole talent of just being actors, and that's why I call them out. And we have the conversations about writing, directing, and everything. Because anybody in the film family of Falcon Pictures and Deanna Land Productions, we can be all of the above. But we wear our hats of what we best wear because that is what's going to create the magic for us to be successful and in the Latino you know, yep. community, that's what we want, we want, want to bring. We want right, to bring right. that success to everything that we do. And uh, yes, I had too much to keep yeah, yeah, No, but it's <laughs> uh, real, real tired. <laughs> Put a gig ball. Yeah. Oh, really? nice. Five, and she's be on seven. Make sure to watch so, um, it. One of those not, just watching her <clears throat> and being with the director and just she was only with the four like leads and it was really cool just to just watch her, you know, so that's that's like goes back to being like behind the scenes, you know, helping her and you know, just doing whatever but she's fine to see. Damn Yeah, she knows how to ride a bike. Uh <laughs> 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 <Don't get it. laughs> I look at it. I look at it. That was good. Uh, Ricky Totter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, know, you, you know what's a, uh, No, but like in the industry, that's not so giving. That's cool. How you're all you're willing to yeah. help them be more than just actors. They can be writers, yeah. directors. Yeah. That's what's cool about that, Deanna and, and, and Falcon. Downey Falcon. All, even all of us. It's not even like we're doing a project and it's called Big Picture, Big Break, and it's like my project. And you know, I'm, is that the one you sent me? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> No, oh, he did? no, he's like, he's just sample, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you were trying to get in it again. <laughs> <laughs> I watched her, I saw more. I thought he was going to say, There you go. Habanero. 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> He's, uh, he's working on the catering. Yeah. Scene, man. Like, <laughs> catering. Hey, you're here, bro, but just go help with the food, bro. Hold the food. Oh, man. No, but I love the fact that you said, because, you know, a lot of people, uh, you say something key that a lot of people don't do is, because you see, you see a lot of people, you know, making films, doing what they got to do, but they, sometimes you feel like they need to take themselves out of the situation so that it could succeed. So when you say right now, like, hey, sometimes I got to stay, uh, you know, take a step back. I don't need to be in front of the camera. But to be behind the camera and help push it, those are good traits right there that a lot of people don't have. You know, because like, no, I got to be in it. I got to do it. And it's like, well, dude, you don't fit the part or you don't fit the role or what you're trying to do, you know, and it actually fails because it's being stubborn, you know, and they're not. It's not always right. You know, not yeah, it's not. Well, you're on the red carpet. What's uh, the uh, lyrics? Yeah, lyrics. He, he was going to do yeah. Concrete's part, right? Yeah. And he talked about, like, dude. Yeah. Oh, shoot. He's like, I. Yeah. I saw Concrete kill it, and he's like, I had nothing to say, but you know what? He's a better man. Wow. Like, See, that's a big, for, uh, for wow. The, for, the, for the good of the show, he's like, no, get, yeah, yeah. for sure. But even wow. Like, on lyrics, they had another guy cast it for that, the Carlos. You know, he's kind of, he, he, uh, he did the great Carlos, but it was another person, and the other person thought it was like, some, all you guys, are, you know, it's not whatever, I'm going to drive the, you know, there and shoot this thing, and we're like, you know, whatever, you just be Carlos. You, 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 you can do it, you know, same thing, and then he did it, and it was actually really funny. It was Right. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's part of Falcon though too, he's so he Falcon. so he 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 looks at the bigger picture though, you know, because mm -hmm. he's not just he's not just a, a, an actor on there either, you know. He's he's part of the yeah. He's he's, he's, an, he's yeah he's a like an a producer yeah. or executive producer as well. Or something like Actually, creator. Creator, right? Yeah. So so he he had to look at it too like, as as a business, you know, thing like man, you know what. I think Concrete will do way better in this role than I right, would. Right, right, right. Wow. Like he looked at it like that. So, that that's cool, so yeah. So he reached out to Concrete, man. And, you know, and, and Concrete's yeah, like, man. hell yeah, I'll do it. And Concrete just brought it, man. You know what I'm saying? He just fucking nailed that role. <laughs> He's man. funny, yeah. He just, you know what I'm saying? Like, he just brought that character to life, like, sick, you know? I love it. But what advice can you, uh, What advice is it out there that... No, serious? That's it? Oh, no, he just like doing that food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a two-hour show. Shoot. Real.
All right, we're going to be right back again because I have a question to ask them about the film industry and uh, giving advice on people. uh, Should they create the film, go shop it, or should they already have it lined up to where they can get the investors? So we'll come back and we'll find out more about that. Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy, JR. And Slick Vic. He forgets his name once in a I while. Like he forgets his name once in a while, but it's okay. <laughs> but look, man, you can catch this March 26th, man. We're going to be at To Live and Die in LA, man. Yes, sir. We will have booths there. We'll be sharing booths. We'll be interviewing people just like we did last year. That's right. The last event. Yeah, we got a lot of people in the lineup, man, and a lot of people, a lot of artists. So. A lot of artists. A lot of artists. Too many to list. Too many to list. But hey, but well, one of them, we got Sugar Free. So I'm Sugar Free. <laughs> so hey check it out man make sure you guys look for us because we're gonna look for you guys yes. and, and just have a good time also don't forget man it's momo's b-day it is momo's b-day it's momo's b-day that day and we will be doing promotions on any vendor so be ready to put out your business right that's right we'll be promoting you guys so we'll see you there Well, we're back, man, and we have the Ghetto Busters in the, in the studio, man, and we're really excited about you guys being here, and uh, you're giving a lot of good stuff, a lot of a lot of great, what would you say, like, uh, Just great meat. insight, yeah. A lot of good meat for people to chew on and stuff, but before we went on the break, I asked you a quick, like, I want to know, because, you know, a lot of filmmakers, indie filmmakers, you know, they, they, they have this mentality uh, of, because uh, I did too, but then as you get into the industry and you start learning, but I want to hear your guys' perspective, they just create the project and go shop it. Yeah. And then they, sometimes they get disappointed. You know what I mean? But then, so, or, what, what, so what's your guys' method of learning? Do you guys just create, go shop, or do you uh, put something together to where you, sh- you shop it so you know it's going somewhere? I think with Sizzle, we've been doing a lot of the Sizzle stuff. Like oh, that's Sizzle Reels. Okay. Mm-hmm. The, the dialogue, everything we did was actually pretty funny. So that in turn got us to meet other people, other friends in both the half of the room. So, yeah, what's up? And I'm not all set on it. Let's go try it. And then that in turn got us to see another sizzle, a better high quality sizzle. Mm-hmm. And still waiting on that to be done. And then that, that in turn, uh, Deanna was like, hey, uh, this could go to a different level and get some more bread for your new project. And so that's okay. what we're right now. So I think shooting the sizzle is the. Is Probably the way to go for us because I mean, fortunately, we have a lot of friends in the industry that are willing to help us out because we helped out so many, you know, not even just like a boy, you know, homie, oh, you know, there's an audition right here, there's something, right, 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 yeah, you're just, just, oh, yeah, I got you, I'll, I'll come in here, you know, and we think the big actors that are helping us out for these things, like that are on big budget. We got like Noel G on it, my boy that was on uh, one of the supporters of the tax collector, Martin mm. Bruno writing it, the, the nice a boy from Fuse TV. The all Joe, Joe Coy's people that shot it. So it's like, oh, shoot. We've got some, like, big friends that helped us, you know, do it. You know, all, mm-hmm. uh, Joe Vaughn is on uh, Shazam. Our, uh, the kid is on The Mentalist. We got D. Riley was a member of um, Fluffy's Comedian. So we have a lot of big friends that were like, yeah, this, this, from what your concept, like from Medina, from your concept, we want to jump on because it seems pretty good. Yeah. So, That's dope, so yeah. doing the demo, you know, like, yeah, a, like yeah, music. Like a demo. Demo. Like to get, you know? get people's responses, you know, and then because you could – have a dope script and send it out to people and people be like, oh, okay, that's dope. You know, the reading, oh, this is dope. You know, but it's different when you get a visual of, of something, yeah, you know, yeah. even if it's a visual for sure, even if it's like a whatever visual, but something, you know, and then, mm-hmm. you, then people see the bigger picture, you know, mm-hmm. like, that's oh, true. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. I, I, I'm done to be part of that. You know? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly- no, cause most investors, they, or, or people, they, 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 uh, you gotta like let them envision it in, in a sense. Right. Cause yeah, exactly. like the, the, here's like, uh, here, I can make a dope burger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm, oh damn, this is good. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I can see this. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta yeah. give them a taste, you know. Yeah. No, I I love that, people, man. To get people on board, you know. But it does take time, take a lot of time, a lot of like, you know, effort and you know, the couple of things. Uh, mm-hmm. I think that's just what you have to kind of endure to make something good, you know. It's still we started two thousand twenty twenty one. Yeah. Right. 
And the thing is that, you know, because everybody has different projects going on, different stuff, and de dealing with different issues, you know, family. So it's not always we could always dedicate everything to it then so we could get it out, you know, because especially we don't have a big budget for it. You know, we don't, we have no budget for it right now, you know. So, so we've just been doing everything on the strength and and, 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 uh, and people have been getting on board. So I think now, you know, like now more people are looking at it. It's like, okay, now people are getting the bigger picture of what we're trying to do with it. Yeah. You know, Deanna's involved with it too, you know, so. So you know what I'm saying? So she's she's uh she's she's pulling some plugs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see because you know you guys, you basically I, I look at it as um, doing Ghetto Busters and being on Tubi. I think now people are like, yeah, I'll do it because I I see now where you guys take your projects because a lot of people uh I can say that they they because uh, where I'm at in my life too where someone says hey help me with this I always I I question them like where's it going. Yeah. Are we doing this for fun? If we're doing this for fun, yeah. I don't got the time, bro. But it, where is it going? And now you guys have like like a calling card now. Like, you know, hey, hey we, we, we've done this. These are our next projects. We plan to do either. We're going to hit that or we're going to make it even further, right? They know we're serious about it. Yeah, yeah they know you're serious. I think it was kind of like we were doing stuff for fun and then we're like, dude, we can't do it like, for fun. Like, why are we doing it for fun? You know, what's mm -hmm. the reason to do it? To post it on Instagram? It's like, we want to do more. You know, we're like, we need this. We're like, 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 we're well, you're married and have four kids. Right, because they'll be like, did, did he write for it originally? He, he has some, he, he has something to do with it, right? Uh, he wrote some of it, yeah. Yeah. I feel like this shows one of those shows where like big names want to come on to do it just to be a, a guest star now. Just yeah, yeah, so even yeah. if it's like a little five second reel. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I just ba he was already, he was on there, bro. <laughs> he was on there. <laughs> yeah, we had him on the show, dude. They were oh my god, it was so bad. So you know, you know they went at it. He's on an episode. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh. <laughs> not gonna go there. But no. that was, but that was funny because originally his name was supposed to be something else, Ar Arturo or Arthur, and then after I don't know, somebody said Hector by accident, <laughs> and, or, or he wanted he goes well you know what because since everybody's always clowning that you know he's always playing the same role everywhere. He says come Let's just name this role Hector. <laughs> <laughs> so they kept it so when he's when he first when that wall walks in into it and, and he goes hey Arturo well that's Hector it's always been Hector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so, funny. So man. that was just like a clown on that part, you know? <laughs> nah, I, no, we love that guy, man. We have a lot of love for him. We have a lot of love for you, bro. It's just when he was on the show, him and Jimmy, man, it was. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys the episode, dude. <laughs> it was beyond crazy, dude. They were just bagging on each other the whole time. Oh, we're like, dude, we're all right here, but they're going at yeah. it. So it's I'll, like 1990 bags, bro. Like, fuck it. Yeah, yeah bad. And the well loves to roast, man, too. Yeah, they like talk crap. So yeah. I was like, dang, dude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, the big city is big, big. I don't know. Did you see it? The, the one he said? Yeah, the, not the new one. Yeah. Yeah. But he has, uh, no, I was in there. Like, like 10 minutes, just bagging on it. But we still took some, some of the pieces were nice, so we took it. And, and <laughs> yeah. So we got, him, we got him on that one, too. Yeah. On that, is, it, is it Hector, too? No, no. Wait, is he Hector? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you will never live down that name. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> He just it's just a clown, you know. He goes, "Fuck it, might as well just keep it going." Man. And that's why I'm gonna uh, create a new show, BTS. And it's not behind the scenes; it's behind the shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I like that. I no. did just say that behind yeah. the shit. Oh, you can it. It's not the Patron speaking. It's not the Patron. It, it's a real nope. show. Okay. That's why it's sober up. It's, it's like it's oh the my weed. Goodness. It's the weed. It's the weed. It's the weed. <laughs> 420 friendly, but no weed. It's all about oh, tequila. Just, yeah, just, just based on the um, the red carpet at the Mass Chinese, you guys have a good support system. Like, cause it, I mean, mm -hmm. just the people yeah, there supporting yeah, no, it. Yeah, we 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 got a lot of love, man. Yeah, like, and appreciate yeah. that, man. We all appreciate that. I mean, all the love and support, y'all. You guys showed us too, man. You know. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Then the shows up with the ghetto buster dress. 
Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, she was like, yeah. all, like in a gown, but with the ghetto best. She had the logo. Oh, yeah. shoot. With chanclas on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Did you, I thought you had stilettos on. <laughs> I, I did in like the first two hours. No, uh, well, no, not that day. You want to buy me some? <laughs> <laughs> It was my paycheck. <laughs> and it goes the budget for the next season. Oh, the budget for the next, the for the next episode. <laughs> these, so these boys already know. I have their back. It's not all about. It's all about them yeah, elevating us as that. a community. Because guess what? We want to make a difference with, with the content that we make, and it's all about them. It's well, about, I, it's I, about see, I seen it that day too with the red carpet. Like they were trying to talk to you, like. Look, let me let me introduce you to, and I I, I didn't I didn't know Richard back then, so yeah, so you were just like pointing everyone to them, which exactly. is dope. That's cool. It's a lot of love, and we made concrete where it's super nervous because we're like, no, like we we were like waiting to walk, and we got there first, and we're like, wait, what if this is a lot? You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you couldn't tell from where. You, yeah, everyone was. There was already up. They were already up there. <laughs> he just said the wah wah wah. Yeah, he, he gave props to the I pulled show. up to the parking lot and him and Concord are trying to jump in the back seat. Like, let's chat. Let's chat, dog. <laughs> oh, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> they were all scared. <laughs> we, did, we, did, we, did, we did like a screening uh, up north, and that was right before, like in December or something. I don't remember when it was. But me and him drove up. And we're like, yeah, like, what if it's like not? Like, again, ultimately, No, it is scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's I think that's what Conky was worried about the most, dude. Like the reaction to people, you know, yeah. and, mm. and what it looked like. Cause because he it's not it's he no longer really a, it. a, a one minute skit now. Yeah, it's, yeah, now it's a, a, a full yeah. on episode. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, so yeah, so that was his biggest. Uh, his like he could see it in his face when we were right there talking. To him. Like you could see, like he was kind of like like nervous, like he didn't know. What was going to be the reaction, you know? And, right, yeah, no, you and, don't know. And, uh, and the thing is that he hadn't seen none of the episodes. He had just seen little clips here and there that were being put wow. up and stuff like that. But to see the full on full episode, he hadn't seen none of it. So he was anxious <laughs> and, and at the same time just nervous to see what it would look like and see what the reaction was going to be on the crowd, you know? So after, he, uh, after that, yeah, you could see it in his face. Uh, he was all reacting. Like, like, yeah, well, everybody was. Yeah, everybody was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is dope. Man. Yeah. It was dope that, every, that people mm -hmm. were digging it, you know? But, uh... Yeah. So my next question, uh, hey, I mean, you guys got to answer it because I'm, I'm going to ask it, but are you guys genuinely happy with what you guys did or where's, what are some changes you guys would have? I mean, I'm always like, the, you know, how like a particular whatever, no, but like, I feel like we brushed a lot of it. So okay. When we get for the next season, I'm going to talk to you brushed, you know, that's something that You'll take your time to say. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, they're taking their time. They're making sure they they're getting sure that everything moment. Everything is on point. Every little I thing, yeah. I want it to be at a level, like, obviously, if our budget, whatever our budget uh, allows us to be, I want it to be like that. So, uh, some real stuff. I think it's going to get funnier because now the formula, we know the formula. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The chemistry yeah. even, it was already there, but the formula was still kind of, like, brewing. Yeah, you know, we're still mixing it. So, I think now, yeah, I think now, now we know exactly where we want to go with it, where everybody's character, you know, needs to mm -hmm. go, you know. So I think it's going to just get funnier from, you know. After, no, after and I like what you just said right now because I, that was going to be my next question because now that you've seen yourselves in those characters, because, you know, you, you, you criticize yourself, so you're like, oh, I could have done this. Yeah. Do you see yourselves developing the character in a different way because now you've seen, you know, you know what I mean? Me personally, yeah. I don't know how you feel, but yeah, people. I feel like, like now I know exactly where that character Bob needs to go and yeah, okay, how yeah. I want to develop it more. You know. Yeah, I was so, somewhat like my character was more like a like a, a, a airheaded guy, but like towards the the end and stuff, it's getting more like 
confident, like more like a little bit going into like accepting mm-hmm. like, you know, right. like, the looks of the character per se, you know what I'm saying? So that's what, uh, that's how, and then because like, you know, I have the leather jacket at the end. And the reason why I had the leather jacket was freezing there. And it got written in, right? Yeah, it got written in the scene. Yeah. She was like the sponsor, right? She was like the sponsor of Ghetto Buster. Yeah. So as we build up, like, each thing we get a little bit more popular, a little more popular, a little more popular. So, like, in the community of that Ghetto Buster world, we're like, Celebrities, you know, as as that. Yeah. Even the episode I write was like getting years and all that stuff, you know. So I'm like accepting that. I think both me and like Concrete are, and I'm sure everybody's developing a bit more of the character. Mm. It's just fun. We're all together. It's like we're being stupid the whole time. I love it, man. I think I think Concrete is. It's 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 in the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle. <laughs> it's like PGR. PG, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no. Because there's a scene. He's in the, it, it was close enough to an next. <laughs> 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 uh, like no, 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 this is Ghetto Busters. This is, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Ghetto let's, Busters. Let's, let's, let's ghetto talk busters. about that real quick. Yeah. It's ghetto. ghetto Busters. So can you guys speak on what it really, what is Ghetto Busters or do they have to watch it? Because Well, basically, I mean... This is what I always, I mean, I've spoken about it. You know, it's basically a, the spoof. I mean, we already know it's a spoof off of Ghostbusters, but it's basically we're hunting burnouts instead of hunting ghosts, you know? Yeah. I love yes. that. It's Reno like that. Yes. Yes. It's like, it's yes. like Reno 911, you know? It's basically like, like that. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's like shot, not like. Yes, but it's just comedy, you know. It's just so when I first know. heard about it, I thought it was a spoof on Ghostbusters. Like you yeah. guys were like ghetto Ghostbusters, right? Yeah. But then when you got, I found out you guys were hunting burnout foods yeah. and shit, yeah. ghetto <laughs> foods. That made it even more funny. It's like fuck, yeah. the name just fits in perfectly. And, you know? and, and then the thing is not, it's not you know when you hear ghetto, you know usually you hear you you look at like oh black and brown communities, you know. But the thing is, <laughs> you, this is every, every no color black. line. This is no color lines on this <laughs> yeah. shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We're hitting everything, man. You know I mean? love it. I love so, it. So yeah, you, we got uh, uh, what would you call it? the trailer park? Trailer park you know, white trailer <laughs> park. We got you know the obviously the you know the barrio. You know we got we got uh, what else we got in there? The, um, I'm gonna bust like I'm. Even we, even with like we're like things like rich people and shit we got yeah. in the red. I mean, we, we got some rich, like, yeah, there's rich, like, like you know you got those you got those rich well, ghetto ghetto well, motherfuckers. Well, and, shit. You know, <laughs> you, and you know it's funny that Jr. shared with me he he only watched episode one and two so mm-hmm. watch the rest of the episodes it'll make more sense to you because at the end of the day these guys mm-hmm. again. They will no, I'm definitely going to watch it. They'll save you. They, they <laughs> yeah. will save you. But you know what? It, it's not – I didn't finish it not because I didn't like it. I No, no. I, I just <laughs> – I'm not used to going to Tubi. So yeah. I forget I have the app on my phone. Yeah. So he I'll, watched Sarah Sway. No, <laughs> <laughs> no but oh, but I'm gonna man. I'm gonna finish it because I forget sometimes. I really I genuinely forget that I downloaded because I'm not used to Tubi. I'm just not. Yeah. I'm not used yeah. to Tubi. Your own identity. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe, yeah. Maybe get some plumber outfits for sure on the next one. Plumber. Cheech and Chong. Game. Where, by the way, I'm gonna give a shout out to Chong. Right. Chong. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, I think you hit the note with when you said Reno 911. That's yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I could definitely see that. Yeah. I, yeah. So where can they find Ghetto Buses? Like on social media, what's the what's the Instagram? What's the, the Ghetto Bus? <laughs> isn't it Ghetto Busters TV series? Right? Yeah. Underscore. Oh, did I just say? 
<laughs> underscore TV series at the end. Yeah. But I mean, it, yeah. It, but I mean, okay. if you, even if you just type in Ghetto Busters, it'll pop. It it'll pops pop up, up, yeah. yeah it'll pop up. Just go to the search engine, yeah. engine ladies and gentlemen. Just Ghetto Google Busters. Ghetto Busters. Yeah. Maybe Nub Busters might pop up too. <laughs> 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 that's, that's the next next season. <laughs> well, before we go, man, is there anything else? Like, are, are, so we are gonna get a season two, or what's gonna happen here, huh? We're going to make it happen. Right. All right. So where do we find Ricky? What? Uh, you find me on uh, IG, Twitter, Ricky M7, you know, you can, you know, IMDb, Ricky M7. What's the M7 for? Uh, oh, okay. Because I, 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 I would have been, <laughs> been M6.5. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Number seven. Me too. What about Deanna? Where do we find Deanna? Besides the chair. <laughs> We're asking you. <laughs> I know. She, why are you looking over there? We're asking you. I know. I know. I know. No. <laughs> that's good. That's, that means she no, that's awesome. Good. I know. She didn't want to face us. Here, she's, been, she's, been <laughs> undre- she's been undressing us. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, at least one of you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Citric. She's undressing yeah, Citric. Citric. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, just always keeping an eye on them. At the end of the day, Deanna Malay on Instagram. Deanna Malay on Twitter and Deanna Malay on Facebook. Cool. All right. Yeah. And Deanna, Lam- Deanna Lamb Productions dot com. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what about Citric? Where do we find Citric at? Uh, at Big Citric everywhere. Big, Big yeah. Citric. What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah. Or Big Dittrick. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm just happy the camera cuts off at your pocket and not any lower. <laughs> I, I can see, I can see them, 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 I can see the knuckle right there. <laughs> now I see what you did to me. Great. That's gonna be our proposal for the whole the whole episode. Uh, episode. You want to see Citrix? Want to see Citrix knuckle? Tune in. Tune in and, and wait to the end. You'll see everything the whole end. So. No, but hey. man, thank you guys so much for coming on, man. It was uh, fun. No, thank and you guys uh, for us, man. It's a good time, man. Yeah. Well, I, apparently you were talking to him because he's here. So yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> I guess. And so, well, I guess now hopefully we're all friends now. So you know. No, we are. And then no, yeah, definitely. If you guys any have anything, you guys are filming and stuff, man. We would love to go out there. And just hang out, even about, you know, do some BTS or, stuff, man, and and, oh, and help you guys promote it. Yeah, help you guys promote it, man. That, man. Not you, that man. you need, but I mean, you got the best cheerleader right here in the world, but you know. yeah. <laughs> oh. I think it's the whole gotta, genuine we, part. We gotta, we gotta, yeah. You guys are real. Develop some shit, man. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. You know, we got some dope, stuff coming on too, man. We we, we actually dope, met with Richard Villa today. Oh. So we're gonna be doing some stuff with him as well, uh, some sketches. Yeah, so we'll definitely. Yeah, we'll yeah, definitely. That's I'll that's have that's him that's hit you guys up, man. Richard Villa. We're gonna do some. Uh, and because he's all, dude, you got freaking cameras and stuff, man. When we do some sketches, I'm like, okay. Richard Villa. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Yeah. So yeah, we're definitely gonna see you guys. Uh, right. April first. I, I can already right. see this on an episode, Ghetto Busters season two, where they're so they're so famous, they come to a podcast. That the show, yeah, we're the show that you guys come on. So what are you guys doing? Huh? What's Ghetto Busters? Oh, let's do it. Yeah, hell yeah, let's do that. Use yeah. me right here, bro. Use we got the camera. cameras and stuff. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> let's do it, man. We'll call it the Webel Busters. The Webel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it, man. I'm, I love it. Fun. But anything else you guys want to say? Maybe we didn't ask or anything like that real quick. We got to get going. Shout outs, guys. Shout, shout outs. Out. Just shout out to you guys, man. And uh, all you people, man, watching. And shout out to Falcon Pictures, Deanna Lamb, Deanna Lamb Productions, and mm-hmm. everybody on Ghetto Busters, man. And, you know, just everybody has been showing mad love and support, man. It's awesome. Yeah, you know? Shout out to you for having us. Oh, thank you guys, man. Scooby, Fred, Thelma. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby. Fucking Shaggy. Shaggy. <laughs> That's right. Awesome. When, when are the action figures coming out? Oh, uh, man, those, uh, those, those things will be dope, but I don't know, man. It's all Deanna. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> we'll put it right there. It falls back on It's all on her. Salud. 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 <laughs> Give it to me. 
<laughs> but hey, man, thank you guys once again. You know, appreciate you guys, man. Anything you want to say, man? Thank you for coming. Hey, thank you, guys. Huge fan. It. Thank you. Let's keep doing it. Yeah. yeah, let's keep doing it, man. And you know what? We'll see you guys next week, man. And then we're out. This is the Ghetto Busters. Go watch them on Tubi. Woo! On Tubi, man. Tubi. Hey, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. But check it out, man. There's still a few more things you need to do. You got to like. You got to share. You got to subscribe. Guys, right. just subscribe. Click it. It's so easy. Just click it. Leave some comments. Yes, leave some I, comments, I mean, damn it. Last time you left a little too many comments. I know I look a little pudgy. <laughs> I'm working on that. But I mean, what do you guys want to see on the show? What, I mean, any recommendations? Right. Yes. So this year, we're going with some different things, man. If you guys want to check out some restaurants, any kind of nightclub, let us know. Give us your we're feedback. Listening.